And will you look at that? We do have red deer here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be checking out all of the changes that have happened in Quattro Colinas since the update. Now, everything was reset. You will have had a population reset on every map except for Silver Ridge Peaks. When you come to your Quattro map, there will be some zones on it, but some of them definitely will be gone. Now, I have been discovering a lot of new zones. Things have definitely moved around, but the zone times in Quattro do not seem to have changed. Now, they changed with the February 22nd update and they have stayed the same. So let's go through what all the drink times are for every species here in Quattro Colinas. Let's start with the most popular thing to hunt, and that would be red deer. And they do drink from 6 until 10 or 10.30. Then we have Ibex. All four species drink from 10 until 14 or 14.30. Then we have Roe Deer and they drink from 14 until 18 or 18.30. Then we have Iberian Mouflon who drink from 18 till 21 or 21.30. Nothing actually drinks at 2100. And then we have Wild Boar and they drink from 0 till 3 or 3.30 and Wolves drink from 3 until 6 or 6.30. Now Euro here do not drink. You're gonna have to hunt them them basically out in these fields during their feed and rest times and I believe they feed in the night time they actually do they feed from 1800 until 6 or 6 30 and they rest from 6 until 1800 so if you actually want to hunt them in the daylight hours you do have to hunt them in the rest zone but check all these light areas like these areas here but they are definitely a lot more challenging to hunt since they have lost their drink time now if you do enjoy today's video guys go ahead and smash that like button you guys are awesome and and we're gonna head straight into it. And let me know in the comments how you feel about this last update. I personally feel like it is the best update that Call of the Wild has ever had. They changed a lot, they fixed a lot. There are still some definite bugs in the game. Right now, guys, tripods are not showing on our maps. That is happening for everyone, and I do understand there is quite a lot of crashing happening on console, and I know that EW is working on a fix for that, so hopefully that will happen very, very soon, and I am sorry to hear that there are always some bugs with updates it's gonna happen and ew is usually pretty good with trying to get those fixed pretty quickly now i am going to do a red deer zone guide very very soon i have had a lot of people ask me for that their zones have definitely changed but their drink time has not now right now with red deer this lake once again is an absolute hot spot for red deer we actually have all three of these are iberian wolf zones and then these five zones are all red deer so they are definitely there. Red deer are gonna be all over the place, but this is a hot spot for red deer. All of these zones on this side are all red deer. These are all red deer. I have two zones here for red deer. There's basically one zone at each of these little lakes. These are all red deer zones. There is no red deer at this lake and no red deer at this lake still. And I do have red deer at the bottom middle lake. I have a couple zones on this lake, nothing on this lake and nothing on this lake. And I do still have two zones on this lake and and two zones on this lake as well. And I have found over 40 drink zones for red deer. Now I'm not sure exactly how many there will be. When I do have all of them, probably more than 50. Sometimes even 60, I definitely have not found them all, but I will do a Red Deer Zone Guide very, very soon. Let me know if you are interested in a Red Deer Zone Guide for Quattro in the comments below, guys. Okay, guys, we have the Seed Ibex drinking here. So right now we are on this little strip of river. Now I didn't have any zones up here, but I definitely do here and Basid and all of the Ibex drink same time as they did before 10 until 14 or 1430. So I have one zone on the big lake for Basid, just one. So this isn't the hot spot it used to be, but you'll also find Basid on this lake right here. And they are often on this lake right here as well. And sometimes they can be here. You definitely want to check all the water sources around Basit Mountain. Okay guys, I just traveled to this lake right here, which definitely does have southeastern Spanish ibex, and look at that, a level five right there. That is a sight for sore eyes. All right, we need to shoot him ASAP. So I have the 303 here, and he dead. That is a sweet find. So you're gonna find southeastern Spanish ibex at all the same lakes that we did before. This lake, this lake, this lake, and these two lakes right here. And I did find a zone right down here for Spanish ibex as well. Okay, here he is. 
You can do it, my friend. He actually looks pretty nice. Here we go. And he is a diamond. Beautiful. Oh, he's a big diamond. He is a 92.4 and 89.68 is diamond for Southeastern Spanish Ibex. And we will taxi him. Very nice. And that is one of the really nice things about reset maps is that you are going to have fresh diamonds and possibly rares on your map. And so just definitely check every single animal, spot everything when you are rechecking for your zones, guys. You are more than likely to find something good on your map. So this is where we are right here. So this is traditionally the best lake for Greedo Cybex, and we do still have quite a lot of Greedos here. So this is the Squiggly Lake right here. There are definitely lots of Greedos on this part of Boot Lake as well. And I didn't find any on this lake, I did check. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at Rhonda Ibex now. And this is a very famous lake for Rhonda and we definitely still have them on this lake. Ibex go diamond at level four all the time. So when you are spotting every single Ibex, definitely know or look up their diamond trophy rating because you need to know when you're looking at a diamond potential anything. Okay, the next species we're gonna have a look at is roe deer. Now roe deer drink from 14 or 1430 until 17 or 1730. They have the same drink time as they did before, but their locations have definitely changed. So this is one of the very best lakes for roe deer. All these three zones are roe deer and I am finding a lot of zones. There are definitely three more. Look at all the roe deer here. No big ones but lots of roe deer. Interestingly, guys, I checked for roe deer at the big lake. I found two zones, that's it. Hardly any roe deer. Nothing at this lake. This lake is awesome, especially on this side for roe deer. Those are all roe deer zones. And so far I have not seen any roe deer at this lake and that is fascinating because that used to be a very big roe deer lake. Now I haven't checked the entire map for roe deer. I think we need to go and check this lake because that has traditionally been a really great lake for roe deer. Let's do it. Okay, so we are now at this lake and I have at least three zones here for roe deer and there even are some males here. So this is still a really good roe deer lake here as well. The next species we're gonna have a look at is Iberian Mouflon. Now they drink here in Quattro still from 18 or 1830 until 21 or 2130. And I am looking on the big lake here and we definitely do have Mouflon drinking here. Now I also have a zone for them on this lake right here. I have not run the entire lake, but I find that Iberian Mouflon are very much evenly distributed all over the map. They're not in one place or the other. They're pretty much everywhere. So basically you need to run every piece of water in Quattro to find all of your Mouflon drink zones. We are now at this lake, middle right hand side of the map and we do have Mouflon drinking here. I have found a couple zones so far and we do have a very big one here. This one is Diamond Potential. So let's take that one down right now. So I'm using the 303. I think I am gonna use the Argus cause that is a pretty far shot. that he did now he could definitely score right at the bottom he's too far for me to judge his horns but let's go see what he's gonna score every diamond potential animal that i see i kill whether i think they're a diamond or not they will make a good respawn they are big ones so always kill all of the diamond potential animals that you see that is why it's important to know your trophy ratings for everything you don't have to memorize them but that is what Discord is for. I look at my own Discord all the time, guys, to check diamond trophy ratings because I do have a hard time memorizing all of them. And I will leave the link to my Discord below the video, guys. You guys are welcome to join. I have all kinds of reference materials in there. We should be getting new updated sheets posted in there since the update. They are not there yet, but they will be there very, very soon. And there's another zone. It's a pretty sad zone, but it is a zone. So basically Mouflon drink in the dark, which is kind of unfortunate, but something has to drink in the dark. And no, he is definitely not a diamond. I can tell from looking at him. 163.4, 179.56 is diamond. And I think their diamond trophy rating has changed slightly. Okay, we do have Iberian Mouflon drinking here, and this is actually the second zone on this lake. 
So I am finding them on this lake here. These three lakes all have mouflon for me right here. I do have Iberian mouflon at the top right lake. I do have them at this lake here. So they definitely will be spread all over the map. Now today's guide isn't supposed to show you absolutely everywhere every single species is. It is just to give you an idea of where to get started with the newly reset map. I will make a super guide. I do need some time to learn exactly where all of the zones are for every single species. It's gonna take me a little bit of time, but I promise I will have a super guide for you guys for all of the newly reset maps. The next species we're gonna have a look at is wild boar. Now wild boar drank here in Quattro from zero until three or 3.30 and I'm pretty sure I just found the jackpot for wild boar. Oh my goodness. So we have a zone coming in here. I'm sure they're gonna drink there. Then we have another zone right here and another huge zone. And there is a big boy right there. Look at all the wild boar. Oh my goodness. Now let me show you where we are. We are at the bottom left hand lake and we might even have another zone over here. This lake is loaded with wild boar. Now I also found wild boar at the top right lake. They're at this lake right here. They're at this lake here. They are still at this lake, although not as many as there used to be, but this lake is completely insane for wild boar. I cannot even believe my eyes. I think Quattro is a great place to hunt for them. Now you do have to hunt them in the dark, but that's all right. <laughs> Okay, the next species we're gonna have a look at is Iberian wolves. Now, Iberian wolves drink here in Quattro from three until six or 6.30 and their zone locations have definitely changed. So right now we are at this lake right here. We do have one zone right there. I am finding a pile of Iberian wolf zones on the top right lake. These first three zones are all Iberian wolves. I have not run the entire lake, so there could definitely be more. And this lake up here used to be amazing for them. I could not find any wolves up there when I just looked just a second ago. Go. But I am finding wolves on this lake here. Most of these little lakes have Iberian wolves. They are down at this lake here. They're on Little Wiggly Lake. And this lake here, I did not find any wolves and they used to be on that lake. So they definitely have changed. I'm sure they are in more spots than that but that will definitely get you started on hunting for Iberian wolves here in Quattro. Now you are gonna need your Gen Zero binoculars. You'll find these in the high-tech hunting pack and I could not get along without them. So basically guys, that is what has changed with the update of June 28th and I hope you guys really did enjoy the video and I hope you guys learned lots. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. If you guys would like to learn how the update affected Leighton Lakes or T. Auroroa, click on these update videos right here. Take care guys.